Hey SketchUpers, it's Aaron. Uh, we have a video coming out later on this week from 3D Basecamp 2018 from my friend Joseph Kim and he talks about something he calls conceptual rendering. And this is quicker rendering, not, not super high polish, not photorealistic, but quick renders to give you an impression of a space, not an exact here's what it's going to look like when it's fully finished, more of a here's what this room will feel like kind of thing. So he talks a whole lot about how to set this up and, and he goes into actually rendering a couple things and, and shows that sort of thing. I'm not going to go into rendering. I'm not going to show rendering right now. But he does talk about one of his conceptual styles he does is more of a amassing style. It's, it's kind of uh, he just outputs everything in white with you know, a clear surface for windows and that's it and just just sends that out so i wanted to look at maybe a couple tips around that like how would i get this model that i have up on my screen back to all white what would i do if i want to export uh lines for compositing outside of sketchup so i want to take a look at a couple things there on how you could basically white out this entire model for some quick conceptual rendering so let's hop in all right, so the big thing to remember here is what we're about to do could be considered destructive. <laughs> so uh, you can see this this model, I downloaded this model from 3D Warehouse and it has some um, aggressive textures. There's a lot of wood in here. There's some tile. There's all kinds of stuff. It, it's uh, maybe difficult right now to get a feel for what the room feels like because it does have some overwhelming textures. Not a big deal though because we can back this down pretty easily. Like I said, we are going to be removing textures from the model, so it will actually permanently alter this model. So what you may want to do if you're going for something like this is do a quick save as to create a version of this model that you're going to export. To get rid of the models, obviously there is this option you have right here of clicking the, uh, I can't remember what it's called, monochrome button, which is going to show everything to you in just white, which is great for finding back faces, that kind of thing. Um, this is okay, but this won't necessarily export. If, I, if I'm looking to export to another program for rendering, this is not going to work because uh, unless your render is specifically set up to ignore imported textures, it will import and show you these uh, materials. So real quick, how do I do that? How do I just get rid of all these? It's actually pretty simple. This is going to be a short video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on one of these and click remove. When I do that, I'm going to get prompted to replace with the default material. My default material in this model is the default material from the standard template, which is our white face with a gray backdrop. If I go ahead and hit replace, that color is going to get removed. You see Mark shirt just turned all white. So really to do this, I can hit remove, replace, and just work my way through this model, replacing all these materials with the default. And what you'll end up seeing is it will just eventually start to become more and more white. Like I said, this is destructive though. I'm losing these. I'm not temporarily painting everything. I'm actually losing these colors, these textures, these materials from the entire model. So it's something you can't come back from real quick and real easily. I could always hit revert. I could export this, hit revert, and go back to the save file or close it and not save it. That would work. Uh, but it's not something where I can just hit a button and repaint everything. It is, however, much easier to do this than to go through and paint everything again. That would be the other option, of course, would be go through here and item by item, group by group, go in, select all, paint it white. Uh, you could do that, but it would be time consuming and it would take uh, just, it's a lot of work. I mean, you have to keep track of what's been edited, what hasn't, that sort of thing. So this is probably the quicker, easier way to do it. Uh, even though, like I said, in the end, you'll have a drastically modified model. So I'm going to go through and do this for everything except for this last clear material because that is actually what's on my uh, chandeliers, my, my lights, and my windows. So I'm going to leave that in the model. Everything else though is going to get replaced with our standard white. 
Oh, I see we had a couple of materials in there that weren't even applied to anything, so that's good. I could save this file now, and again, if I don't want to lose my previous model, I could go to File, Save As, save it as a different name, uh, so I don't overwrite my original file, and that could be easily taken into a rendering program and rendered all in white. One of the other things Joseph talks about is exporting a lines only layer, and that's actually pretty easy to do with the same view, same view I had right now. If I come and open up my shadow settings and come here to make sure use sun for shading is turned on, and I'm going to take my light and crank it up to 100%. My dark, same thing, up to 100. That gives me just my lines. At this point, if I want to fine tune, I can come into Styles, Edit, and go to my lines, and I can turn profiles on and off. Um, that may be something I want to make. If I just want those, just the solid single lines, that, that looks pretty good. I may just export that. But this is going to give me a line layer that I could composite on top of my white render. I don't want to go a whole lot further than that because I don't want to step on Joseph's toes because he has a great presentation that will be coming out Friday. He goes a lot deeper into what he thinks about when he thinks about conceptual rendering. What is it? Why would you use it? Um, how did he even come up with this concept that he has of intentionally staying away from photorealistic rendering? So come back and check that out on Friday. In fact, go ahead and subscribe down below. That way you'll be notified when other videos like this come out or when Joseph's comes out on Friday. And if you did like this video, give us a like so we know. Most importantly though, please leave a comment. If you liked or didn't like, if you thought any part of this video could have been better, please let us know about that. And if you know of any workflows that you'd like to see spotlighted in a video like this, let us know about that too. Like making these videos, like making them a lot more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you!